uh, most of the aspects what we are uh, uh, talking today are involving some uh, starting from the okay whatever the aspects we have uh, taken okay like uh, i can say initially we are having uh, some kind of the introduction like uh, the python uh, basics so this is one of the uh, components where all the interviewers uh, asks us to uh, give some kind of the insight second one is friends uh, definitely we need to have some uh, uh, statistics in our mind not uh, uh, much but of course definitely it helps us to crack and to understand the things in a better way and third important aspect is apart from that we are having some uh, uh, algorithmic orientation in the machine learning space and uh, fourth important thing is uh, you know before these algorithms we need to have some kind of the understanding of uh, uh, data pre processing aspects okay uh, we will limit uh, our discussion to this aspect because we are reaching to the uh, end of the uh, training so definitely i i want to give some kind of uh, uh, insights uh, based on these kind of the aspects and if you are uh, talking about the uh, python a way of testing our knowledge by interviewers and all the companies basically uh, it, it is divided into these kind of things friends one is uh, the uh, data structures of the python this is the first aspect second important thing is you know as you pretty know that uh, our numpy and as well as the pandas skill okay this one uh, is uh, uh, really giving us uh, uh, some kind of the insights so as to talk and once this is over so just these are all the uh, core uh, python oriented uh, uh, skills we need so how can you refer the data structures friends which are all the aspects available as a part of the data structures can someone help me list tuples yes list dictionaries tuples and as well as we're having some kind of the sets dictionary okay and then we're having finally uh, the dictionary orientation okay so uh, if you are referencing this particular list okay basically we need to have some kind of the characteristics so with these uh, aspects you can uh, specify the list and you can update the values okay that means uh, you can mute uh, the appropriate list data but tuple you know which is similar to the list okay like uh, you can declare these uh, tuple like this but you cannot update the values it is uh, something like uh, immutable whereas if i am talking about the set so like that i can declare the set the main property of this particular set is uh, uniqueness i cannot repeat the values but because in case of the list and tuple i can give the duplicate values also whereas in case of the set notation uh, there is no chance of uh, repeating the values simply we can uh, manage these kind of aspect of course you can add the set you can add some more numbers you can uh, all these things you can perform uh, can someone help me to understand what is a dictionary friends key value pair uh, which is a key value pair so basically friends here uh, the dictionary helps us to establish a kind of the data structure uh, with uh, such as uh, some employee number okay uh, i want to give some kind of 1021 so such as i can mention some kind of the dictionary one just i can give some uh, employee number and as well as i can update the data so likewise uh, there are uh, certain aspects we need to have in the discussion of the list tuple set and as well as the dictionary so each and every data structure we may not use friends so generally suppose there is a scenario let me give this scenario uh, the first scenario is like this okay I, I want to handle some employee id okay uh, along with the uh, other constructs like uh, salary and as well as the skill like that 
so uh, out of available data sets okay out of available data structures to maintain the employee id which one is better friends employee id kind of things okay. only employee id suppose if i am if i am asking numerical no it's uh... oh, numerical and uh, uh, it should be unique na? i cannot give multiple employee ids to i mean same employee id to multiple numbers okay multiple members cannot have the same employee id so it is all depending on the scenario based friends so if you want to maintain the uniqueness and if you want to maintain your data in uh, without any repetition then you can uh, have a look on this uh, 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 kind of set whereas there are certain situations where i want to store some kind of the numbers okay and uh, these particular numbers there is a certain scenario guys here suppose i am having two years experience three years four years and five years we decided that uh, um, just we we need to give the double increment okay that means double increment in the sense uh, so whichever the experience we are having into two so correspondingly the increment would be there two into two four and two into three six 2 into 4, 8, 2 into 5, 10. For these kind of the scenarios, which one is better friends? I'm having some data and I want to equally apply some kind of the condition throughout these kind of things. Then which is the better one? List. List. Because no other gonna, just I'm having some data and I want to maintain this particular data in such a way that uh, um, I want to apply a kind of the operation throughout the storage. And some other scenario here, uh, like I want to uh, maintain the convention like, uh, okay, we'll take some planets example. And this particular planets are having some, uh, um, some kind of the data like, you know, if I'm taking Mercury, I'm having mass and as well as um, diameter and as well as the day length, assume that. Like these three are the uh, columns of the, uh, I mean, uh, the properties of the Mercury. Then which is the best option, friends, to maintain the uh, Mercury, uh, like uh, mass value and uh, diameter, and then day length, along dictionary. with, uh, okay, definitely some kind of the dictionary I have to use, and day length something like that, some values, okay? Because this is uh, uh, showing us uh, maintenance of uh, some kind of the key and correspondingly I'm having some kind of the value. In those kind of the things, definitely the dictionary is uh, uh, helpful. So one thing friends, in the uh, team also, uh, no one is directly um, guide you like, um, uh, okay, you need to use dictionary here, you need to here set here based on the understanding of the data based on the availability of that particular data we should uh, decide okay whether i can go with the list but uh, 90 percentage of the cases our uh, implementation is revolving around the list friends so with the help of the list one can uh, easily uh, maintain the convention but uh, other than the list uh, uh, majority of the cases we will be using the dictionary concept because it is very flexible and uh, creation of the dictionary updates or performing some kind of the aspects every time uh, you can have the same kind of the uh, narration and uh, usage in the, the two dictionary is a flexible kind of the data structure okay these things you can uh, easily observe can someone give me the scenario uh, where can i use this tuple friends basically Any specific thing coming into your mind? All the list of employees, uh, like the number. Uh, mm, when the
because at least i, I have not used from past 3 years or 4 years in uh, in my experience of the data engineering and data science if you are you guys are telling uh, uh, we can use the tuple uh, in this scenario definitely i uh, i'm i'm so happy so that can we get these kind of things friends once you declare and that's all and we are not going to add anything and uh, a very rare uh, usage friends because once you define and uh, declare something and uh, that that must be some flexible so here tuple you know it is not allowing us to do anything and even we cannot perform any comprehension also so in that scenario obviously we'll be end up with uh, uh some kind of the point where we cannot use this tuple in most flexible way okay so uh suppose if at all you want to make use uh for the experience i cannot use maybe i can say um up to 2010 okay i want to get uh, the mnc's uh, uh, established date okay because uh, uh, see they want to government want to uh, verify how many companies were uh, established from 1950 to 2010 okay along with their established uh, date and as well as how many employees okay um, they are having and what is the turnover like that kind of the cases so however this uh, established date is not going to change you know? so in those kind of the cases we can um, have this uh, unchanged kind of the thing as a tuple aspect okay so this is how you can refer uh, uh, the usage of the python data structures okay and uh, one more thing uh, apart from these kind of thing we have discussed uh, the numpy actually so friends uh, uh, maybe they can ask one or two questions in the uh, data structures if you are giving answers then straight away they can move uh, to this uh, zoner actually so i can say this is the second category where you will be tested on the um uh, lines of this numpy so actually this is a numerical python which we are uh, having the usage of the arrays can someone help me how can i define the array friends it is a list of uh... Uh, ah, some group of elements is a representation so where i can store some numerical data maybe that is the integer or a float kind of the values so uh, of, uh, yeah that means see here np dot array of okay like that i can um, specify some kind of the values 10 15 20 25 like that i can give this is one option another option is i can say np dot a range of this is another option so like that the various options would be there so as to generate your arrays and something like if i want to generate randomly friends if i want to generate my arrays randomly what is the process i am having i can take c equal to np dot random dot rand integer of suppose if i am saying 0 comma 10 comma 2 by 3 like that if i am saying can someone explain this point friends this is definitely one array uh, how do you refer this particular thing we have seen this example okay uh, we will have the values uh, between 0 to 10 uh, between 0 to 10 it is moving uh, how many values it is going to generate uh -huh. rows na first is automatically row so mm -hmm. zero eighth row first row like that we are having zero eighth column first column and second column maybe as i am asking random integer it may generate some kind of the uh, random values total six values are there na? like that so uh, this particular random integer or random kind of the generation are helpful so as to check uh, some kind of the sampling and if i want to apply uh, if you see the uh, numpy friends actually it is a numerical kind of thing where you can uh, make use of uh, finding out of the minimum uh, maximum and summation okay all these kind of the constructs you can uh, observe okay so maybe one dimensional two dimensional arrays all those kind of things you can uh, observe in the notion of this uh, numpy 
now uh, if i am referencing the numpy uh, the standard question friends uh, how your list is um compared with array this is the first one second question friends uh, performance wise uh, which is uh, better these two aspects if i am asking you then uh, what is your answer you can use the chat window also no no doubt definitely but uh, this is the most commonly asked question uh, in the grounds of python orientation on the storage part uh, uh, actually arrays are better better than lists mm. they, they they store uh, a similar type of values and uh, okay. mm. on the storage type of storage compared to lists and arrays exactly and uh, let me share one more point here uh, just hold on friends i'll show you the time line also uh, because uh, the timeline if i am talking about uh, which is uh, uh, giving us uh, some uh, insight uh, one minute just let me open that uh, thing for you so within this i am having some numpy orientation yeah Will take much time to pick up that. Uh, hmm. If you observe the uh, one note, uh, I mean uh, no, Jupyter notebook. Here I have defined uh, list friends actually, so as to multiply each and every element, and I have taken uh, one huge number. Okay, I have taken one huge number. What I have done is just I am uh, I am putting some kind of the operation with the help of the list. So it has taken some uh, four point six sec seconds to perform this kind of the operation. So the same thing if you discuss about the arrays. So the same number I am using uh, that uh, number of uh, elements I have used the same number. Maybe that is ten power six or ten power seven. That much number I have taken. And uh, I am making use of. Just don't worry about the code, friends. I want to show this thing. How much uh, uh, time is? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the execution time is uh, reduced in case of the arrays. So, in case of my list usage, I uh, our uh, code spent four point six seven uh, seconds, whereas in case of the array, it has taken only forty point three milliseconds, friends. See how much differentiation is there. So. obviously as our uh, venkat rightly said uh, um, just arrays as they are storing the same kind of the data uh, similar kind of the uh, data type and uh, that too the time wise also uh, the time wise also to generate or to perform some kind of the operation on the arrays it is requiring a very less amount of the time so performance wise uh, uh, we cannot compare arrays with the list definitely they are having more uh, advantage when compared with uh, uh, the kind of you know um, list but uh, list is more flexible na, when compared with the array what is the flex flexibility can you can someone share that so performance wise uh, definitely arrays give best performance in terms of uh, uh in terms of uh, time compared with uh, compared with our uh, list okay so this is the thing and uh, ah yeah venkat you are about to tell something yeah Uh, list in list we can uh, do multiple uh, operations like uh, append ah. uh, we can we can do the addition and uh, removal of uh, mm. uh, yes addition. list allows uh, heterogeneous type of the data uh, we can have uh, heterogeneous type of, that means uh, multiple data types can be taken and uh, we can have a look on that and another important thing friends here mm, apart from this uh, heterogeneous type uh, we are having uh, the flexibility of allowing uh, 
duplicates also duplicates and we can perform some uh, mutability updates okay within the list based on the requirement friends and uh, if you are very particular about um, the usage of uh, time and if you want to keep that performance without any uh, without any compromise then definitely you should uh, uh, think through in in terms of the uh, i mean uh, uh, the arrays only okay so that is one more important aspect you can consider and apart from that guys uh, so suppose if i am introduced you the aspects of the pandas uh, which are all the things you need to observe in the pandas series and data frames okay series and as well as the data frames we are having hmm. what exactly series does series are also kind of well, uh, uh, array index ah array with default index array with default index so at the moment i am uh, talking about the default index okay so how do you specify uh, that one suppose uh, let me show you that example also so that you can have a connect on that rather than simply conceptualizing now you see here friends uh, just we are having the series specification i have taken some uh, uh, declaration like this so i am having s1 so pd dot what is what do you mean by this pd friends actually pandas okay so every numpy uh, in general there is a common convention like uh, i can make use of uh, uh, the kind of the pd as uh, pandas for the sake of uh, uh, representing the alias name for the numpy and pd for the pandas as an alias name for the pandas now if i am talking about the series if you could observe the appearance of the series basically uh, it is allowing us uh, uh, an array with the default index we have not mentioned any index friends if you see series we have created like 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 like that some kind of the numbers we have taken and the moment uh, you are running through obviously it is printing like uh, uh, the default index notation okay the kind of index you can observe and uh, by the way it is giving the type of the data also because as we are not using any decimals it is simply giving the integers but whereas if you keep this uh, series as a floating point number kind of thing even if you are putting one number as a floating point time type then definitely it is uh, taking that thing as a uh, all float kind of the values okay so the main uh, appearance of this particular series is uh, uh, it is a kind of the array with the default indexing it is a kind of the array with the default indexing now what is the advantage friends if i am asking you guys like uh, there is uh, one more option uh, most uh, most of the data scientist also uh, or uh, confusing between uh, loc and ilvoc can someone help me to understand what exactly loc and ilvoc suppose uh, if i am uh, ah yeah this uh, which takes as zero kind of thing and loc is the defined uh, ah this is a internal index by python because this is the user defined index okay simply uh, let me give you this uh, example so in the same uh, uh, one notebook i am having so uh i am taking this uh, generally friends uh, if i am declaring this thing um what what we are doing is here i have taken uh, same example mass diameter and as well as the tail length and correspondingly we are having the numbers 0.33 57.9 and 432.6 so corresponding to this mercury mass we are having 0.33 and diameter is 57.9 and tail length is uh, 432.6 now without using default index okay so i am not using the default index just what i am doing is uh, directly i am mentioning the user defined mass diameter and day length okay so but whereas if you are referencing the location so somewhere i have used that one minute guys loc yeah. if i am taking loc 
now you see here i am having 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 this is actual data correspondingly i am having the index value what i have done is uh, i have created my own index always i need not follow the index proposed by the python 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that i have assigned my own way of index now obviously according to your declaration python also given uh, these kind of the indexes now you see friends loc if i am asking uh, loc of 3 means typically it is fetching the third index user defined friends this is the user based index which you have defined and it is giving the value as uh, 1 okay whatever the value we are having uh, just it is giving the value as 1 now if i am asking you guys uh, what is the ilvoc value of 3 ilvoc ilvoc means our index start from 0 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 what is the value 2 that's what you can see ilvoc of 3 it is not taking four friends actually it is taking 0 1 2 3 that means you have to observe the point like though i am giving or i am establishing my own way of the indexing so as to access the details of the series but still that particular series internally maintains the index which is by default allowed by the python so at the moment i want to get the user defined kind of the indexes i can make use of the loc LOC is helpful for the identification of the indexes based on the user perspective. Whereas if you want to maintain the index based kind of the things, okay, obviously I can see uh, these ILOC kind of thing where I can make use of uh, internal, okay, index by default, which is followed by the Python. Now, if I'm asking you, um, suppose uh, I am, let me copy uh, this thing so that we can discuss in the one note okay now if you are referencing um if i'm asking you like uh, loc of 6 ilvoc of 3 Uh, LOC of 6 means this is purely user based. User based means no need to check directly it goes to 6 and it is revealing 5. But I I, I am also intended to get uh, ILOC. ILOC means uh, it is not following this uh, thing because Python internally maintains the IL, I locations, internal locations. This is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, and of course, this is 5, this is 6. Now, our requirement is 3 actually, which is this one, and the value is 2. Similarly, if I am putting uh, like this, uh, one more option I want to ask you LOC of uh, One colon four ILOC of one colon four. Any difference, friends? Yes. Yes, there is a difference. Ah. Okay, hold on. Just let us uh, run this code just to keep your uh, idea and now we are having s6 with us what i am doing is insert cell above mm. our requirement is i want to get s6 dot ilvoc of four some value i am getting similarly what i am doing is s6 dot lvoc of one column four now how do you observe this thing friends even in uh, total numbers also we are getting uh, 
some distinction let me take this one so that we can discuss in a better way this is a uh, ilvoc and i am copying the outcome also mm, the outcome is here and then uh, i am taking lvoc kind of thing whatever the lvoc we are having and then the appropriate outcome yeah now we are having the source data guys okay this is the source data 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 and we are having user defined indexes this is the system defined index and you should be very clear about uh, lvoc pointing to the user ilvoc pointing to the system or python way of indexing now have a look on this ilvoc and observe the output have a look on this lvoc and give me the outcome so the that uh, other than uh, one minute venkat uh, other than venkat anyone is uh, anyone want to give some uh, explanation uh, no, yeah. i am was it was considering n minus 1 but ah uh, there LVC. there you are there you are your lvoc is not even uh, considering your standard way of uh, python uh, splitting hope you got the point lakshmi yeah. like uh, in general friends uh, if i am making use of this uh, a colon b our strategy is uh, a will be included b is becoming as b minus 1 okay but whereas uh, if you are making use of my lvoc okay in case of the ilvoc ilvoc if you see uh, internal location actually one means one only uh, uh, that one however you know so just it is uh, giving the information like uh, uh, it is directly going to this one and it is uh, fetching this one and going to this particular two uh, which is fetching again one and going to this three which is fetching two and finally four is not included but four means three na it is not included so it is only giving one two and three subscripts but you focus on this uh, lvoc friends okay majority of the members uh, so they generally try to relate uh, the a b and b minus one kind of the upper subscript uh, to this uh, ilvo uh, lvoc kind of thing which is not holds that's what i intentionally put this particular session for the revision maybe these kind of the things okay may definitely uh, improves your uh, shortlisting uh, uh, in the interviews okay so the, if you are talking about the lvoc it start from one however here one means lvoc friends here lvoc means uh, as usual uh, whatever the value i am having as one it is not uh, using the python way of doing okay so let me write this thing actual data is this one actual data and my lvoc that means my uh, our own way of doing four five six seven total seven now we are asking python to pick up from one okay that means uh, one means here first zero and we are asking python to pick up two also pick up three and pick up four so it has uh, packed all these kind of the data item that means one two three four and it has given 0 1 1 2 you, you can easily see that friends but whereas in case of my ilvoc what happened is let me write that ilvoc also uh, ilvoc start from 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, 5 6 uh, which are all the numbers i am having 0 double 1 2 0 
डबल वन टू एंड देन फोर्थ इज टू थ्री फाइव एट वन मिनट जीरो डबल वन टू थ्री फाइव एट थ्री फाइव एट नाउ वी आर आस्किंग टू पिक अप लोकेशन ओके एल ओ सी विच इज गिवेन बै दि पैथन वाट वी हेव सजेस्टेड वन स्टार्टिंग फ्रम वन दट मीन इट ईज स्टार्टिंग फ्रम वन ओके इट ईज फेचिंग वन ऐक्चुअली and then it is moving to two no doubt about that and it is fetching one and now yeah three also fetching okay that means uh, this particular zero value we are not uh, taking into the consideration because our subscript is starting from one so that it has taken this one and we have pasted in the output it has taken the two yes and then it is moving to three two so one one two but If you see, friends, as per the analogy, this particular four is not considered in the ILOC. That means our upper subscript is uh, four minus one. It is not going through the upper subscript. So that is the analogy you need to observe between the LOC and ILOC. Hope you guys got the point. Any doubt? Okay, we have pasted these things from the uh, example. Okay, whatever uh, we are having. okay so now finally if i am asking you in the interview okay suppose uh, uh, venkat if i am asking you as a panel as a panelist okay so in, can you differentiate between uh, loc and ilc then uh, in a simple words within two or three statements you have to explain yeah go ahead no one doubt why zero is not coming because oh, okay uh, no okay. problem yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because we were talking about one, you know that. Uh, where, where is that? Where uh, ILOC or LOC? No, ILOC. Uh, ah, okay. One because we are starting from one. The the first one is omitted. Omitted. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, it is not taken. Na. That's what I have put this uh, wrong. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Got it, na? L yeah. Hmm. ILOC is uh, is uh, is a uh, is a default uh, weather. Ah, uh, uh, you can say that. Hmm. Mm. I L O C is a default, default one which the Python de defines and it starts with zero uh, index. Right. Whereas L O C is a user defined, uh, uh, which which uh, either can be, which which is defined by the user. Excellent. So when when we give the uh, uh, index index value uh, like uh, uh, like uh, one is to four. Uh, mm. It it uh, doesn't uh, take the the last. Uh, mm. Or else you can put your thought in like this. If I am using L O C A colon B, and if I am using I L O C A colon B, and now you explain. Yeah. Ah, if I if I uh, for example uh, uh, to to see it clearly, when I say L O C A colon B, mm. it uh, it gives all the all the values uh, with the index A. Uh, a and uh, all those between b and also it includes b all values a, along a, with uh, a and b a and b b also b. b also considers ha uh, ha uh. yes uh, il was see it starts with the the values uh, from the index a till b but not b up to b all those so b minus 1 uh, i can say b minus 1 Mm, yeah. very good only these two differences are na that's it okay because first one is however uh, ilboc is uh, default and uh, starts from zero index whereas loc is defined by user maybe uh, that may be the mercury uh, kind of mass or diameter or day length whichever friends uh, there is no restriction i need not uh, go by numbers also sometimes i can go by a uh, string type of the data where if i feel uh, uh, managing those things with uh, uh, these kind of the index is definitely giving some value to uh, my data set okay in that case i can take that and wherever i am using this uh, loc a colon b uh, as this is uh, going through the uh, lines of user okay user defined kind of the index uh, both inclusive a and b whereas if i am doing python way of uh, uh subscripting the data i can make use of this a colon b kind of the aspects 
so these things are very uh, catchy uh, in the study of the series or uh, whichever friends may not be may not uh, uh, restricted to series i can go and extend the same kind of thing with the data frame also okay now uh, series of course we have seen which is uh, the default uh, uh, index uh, every series is uh, having some default index or else uh, we can add our own kind of the index that is the main advantage of the series now if i am talking about the data frame can someone help me friends uh, what is the capacity of the data frame in pandas definitely we will be getting questions but no doubt about that because if our entire journey of this uh, machine learning engineer or data scientist is revolving around uh, this data frame orientation only okay so that means uh, whatever the data we are loading or whatever the aspects we are working uh, by default they are all uh, um, dependent on this data frame now how can you define a data frame in a in a most uh, 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 collection of series collection of series is one thing second important thing is uh, any data which is arranged in uh, rows and columns is known as a data frame okay so if you want to see the data frame friends let me show you that also okay so up to this we are having the series actually and then uh, uh, as uh, mentioned earlier suppose i am having a mass related to mercury venus and all these uh, planets and i am having diameter also uh, somewhere one minute guys these are all up to series only yeah data frames if i am saying uh, this is one of the example as i have given a random kind of thing which is uh, taking taking the values between 0 and 10 and i am taking 5 by 3 means 5 uh, rows and 3 columns so you can see 5 rows and 3 columns kind of the aspect and uh, at the moment you are uh, want to create uh, the data frame they are slightly different orientation so in case of the array we are not having any labeled values because we know pretty know that arrays are not uh, providing any indexes but whereas uh, if i am creating data frames can be created by this uh, phrase d capital and f capital which is a data frame kind of the orientation and uh, what we are doing is uh, we are sending this array to the corresponding data frame so obviously our data frame is a combination of the rows and columns that means as i have not mentioned any columns information automatically it is it has taken as 0 1 2 and even i have not uh, specified any row information though i am having five rows it is it has uh, started from 0 1 2 3 4 so by default it is uh, providing those kind of the conventions e even if you are not giving also it is taking and uh, you can output this uh, values columns and all that is fine one more thing now you now the point uh, now the thing is coming into the picture suppose uh, for the uh, data frame whatever i am using that is a uh, data frame uh, i am naming these uh, index as r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 i am i don't want to Uh, go by zero, one, two, three, four, uh, which are already provided by Python. But I want to rename them. So simply, I can give this uh, R one, R two, R three, R four, R five. Similarly, I am having the column information as uh, C one, C two, and C three. Now you observe here, L O C means uh, which is nothing but uh, the user defined. So it is only picking up R three and as well as the C three. so r3 and c3 combination is only one number so that you can see nine whereas in other way if i am talking about ilvc now see here friends ilvc is related to lvc is related to the user defined ilvc is related to the ilvc python python, python way of doing okay now second row means what 
ILOC of second row means what? Three and uh, three. Yes, R three is the second row. That means no matter zero, this is the zero eighth row. This is the first row. This is the second row. So it is taking that. And similarly, column also. I am. This is the zero eighth column, first column, and as well as the second column. So two by two, obviously, just it is taking uh, the combination of these two. So likewise, uh, no matter friends, whether I am using the series or data frame, uh, our intention is to work with the LOC and ILOC. Obviously, we can perform the same. Like uh, one more example, we'll see. Suppose I am having uh, the slices. If you observe the this one, uh, can you comment on this, Venkat? What is the two four and one three ILOC? Uh, two, two four months. Uh, ILOC. Ah, ILOC default uh, related to the three. Python way. Ah, ah. Three uh, because two to four. Mm. Uh, so four minus one is three. That's so it. Two, two three. Two three. three. Hmm. Uh, what is the two three? Two three is nothing but row, na? Row. row. Because first, anyhow, in the uh, location or in the subscript, the first value every time is a row. But this time. I don't want to give a single row, but I want to run through the second row to the third row, because four means, uh, however, as per the, our analogy, four is not going to include, because as uh, as we are uh, making use of the Python way of doing the things, uh, two colon four obviously giving uh, two three only. Okay, that's what uh, here two three means zero one two three. That means uh, R three and R four. Okay. First, it is going to pick up uh, this particular portion. And what about the second one? Uh, one is to three. So uh, one, uh, one and two. Column two and uh, that, that's it. Column two, column three, as per our uh, LOC. So this is the zeroth column. This is the first column. And uh, this is the second column. Suppose if I am giving two here, one column two means only one column will be appeared. But whereas what I have done, I want to embed these two columns so that though this is zero, one, two, but I want to embed the two also so that I am moving ahead to three. Actually, three is not there, but still we are using this three because if we are giving three before that, three minus one will be counted. Hope you guys got the point. That's how we are making use of this R three first, and then only this portion three nine and as well as the six seven. Okay, so this is uh, uh, somewhere uh, nowadays while conducting the interviews also the people could not uh, give the answer though they are working, <laughs> but still if you are giving something, uh, they may be making some mistake I thought of sharing that point also with you guys. That is how you need to observe and one more thing uh, while uh, going with the pandas kind of thing one more important point is apart from the data frame. Uh, what is the other thing friends which is very helpful in pandas. Uh, to load the files. Ah, very good. Okay, pandas is uh, to load the data and uh, the return value after loading the data is uh, data frame. Okay, to layer to load the data and to return value after loading the data, which is a data frame. Suppose, uh, let me show you this uh, loading of the data. Uh, I want to load some kind of the planets data from uh, a default. So for that particular purpose, uh, this thing all we have done, diameter and all these types, okay. And thereafter loading of the data, let me go through that. I'll show you how to add and how to add a column or how to add a row. But uh, before that, uh, I want to show you the loading process of the data. Uh, info and describe, you know, yeah. Suppose uh, I want to load the data from the default source. Uh, may not always be the default source. Uh, uh, in the Seaburn library, friends, we are having some uh, planets data actually. Okay, so uh, if I'm saying like this, uh, let me give you this. Uh, if you observe uh, the kind of uh, C burn, uh, just I'm clicking this and uh, 
Seaburn data set if i am saying it is it is providing us some kind of the data set friends okay so basically it is allowing us to hope you guys are viewing this seaburn load data set now in this case we are having the location of that where it has been landed or uh, sourced okay just to click on this if you click on these kind of things uh, the researchers are keep on adding uh, these kind of the data titanic data tips taxis planets penguins okay some some sort of uh, databases we are having so in the earlier example we have seen uh, some uh, uh, uci machine uh, uci machine learning repository similarly our seaburn and all are having their own kind of the repositories okay so from that we we are uh, having this planets data if i am clicking that it is showing some method number orbital period mass distance and year so how many planets were there and how they have uh, invented and what which are all the criteria or which are all the methodologies they followed like that they have uh, done some kind of the research and they have placed uh, uh, the planets data now i want to make use of uh, that particular planets data so obviously i can uh, go and uh, uh, run through uh, this particular data so actually numpy and i'm having this uh, one minute guys this is not <laughs> allowing us to one minute yeah i have to be very cautious yeah this is not yes oh hmm. or else let me open that pandas so here uh, directly i can uh, import that particular sns and i can uh, load the data whenever there is a requirement and uh, other way of doing is uh, if you refer uh, actually in all the other case studies you know guys uh, uh, just what we are doing directly we are loading our data now you see okay uh, just what we are doing data set equal to or data frame equal to pd dot read underscore csv just we need to mention the kind of the data set okay so our pandas is not only helping us to work with series and as well as the data frames along with that we are having the loading process of the data you can have the loading process and uh, with the help of read underscore csv one can uh, uh, easily load the appropriate data but other than that we are having this uh, processing also from the default sources okay maybe i am having some kind of the default data sets and i want to uh, upload the default data sets also into my uh, data frame with the help of the pandas then i am having this uh, um, sns okay which is nothing but the seaburn library where just now we have seen uh, uh, placing of planets data and with respect to that particular planets data i want to uh, use i want to make use of that particular planets data so what i have done is uh, import seaburn as sns and uh, we are making use of uh, df underscore planets okay this is some uh, data frame uh, which is containing planets which is going to contain planets and sns which is the seaburn library and within that we are loading the data set in the name of planets so whatever the name we are having so obviously friends here what you can do is uh, just uh, after uh, loading of this particular data you can uh, display directly directly it is going to display and uh, yesterday also we have seen what exactly the info info is giving the, uh, the information about how many, how many number of columns are there how many rows are there and out of those things uh, how many null values are there okay friends here uh, before applying any missing values or before you can uh, uh implement whatever the missing value imputation or something you can uh, simply uh, perform this info so that you can uh, get all these kind of the method whatever the columns i am having along with some kind of the number of rows entries okay and then uh, how many number of columns i am having and uh, out of those particular things if you see in orbital uh, period and mass distance all these things are not uh, having complete uh, non null values okay these things are not having complete non null values but whereas uh, method number and as well as the year 
they are all having the uh, complete uh, non-null values. Okay, like that you can uh, specify, okay, understanding of the columns and trying to fetch whatever the data items we are having in terms of the number of rows and all those things can be observed. And uh, by the way, uh, from this understanding, whether I need to apply any, uh, any kind of uh, logic, uh, like, you know, conversion of the non-null into the mean values or eliminating of the null values, all those things you can decide. And what about the describe basically? Suppose we have done with the info. Info is, uh, which is helping us to get into uh, some kind of the columns and rows information and about the knowledge of the null values. But what do you mean by this describe basically? No, statistical statistical terminology like count mean value standard deviation minimum maximum uh, and why do uh, where is where we use this uh, describe friends basically where do we use this uh, describe suppose i want to uh, verify the percentile 25 percentage of the values 50 percentage of my values uh, and 75 percentage of my values okay how these particular things are uh, estimated and uh, apart from that sometimes you know you want to get the mean or else uh, some kind of the uh, 50 percent means median values all those things can be easily estimated so to think through like what is the standard deviation what is the maximum and minimum and what is the mean to so if at all you want to work with some kind of the statistical measures and if you want to get some information related to uh, the stat orientation, then you can uh, apply this particular describe. Okay, so this is uh, another important aspect uh, uh, related to the data frame. They may ask you, uh, what is the difference between info and describe? And they may ask you like how to load the data, all these things. And one more important thing, how we are going to add the row and how we are going to add the column and how we are going to drop the column and how we are going to drop the row. So now very simple aspects, friends. Okay, suppose uh, let me show you this thing. Uh, yeah, we are having some uh, content with us. Okay, like uh, we are having some data frame uh, with the planets information, like mass and diam diameter are there. Uh, throughout Earth to Venus, we are having some details in the data frame. Just we have loaded the data frame. Now, uh, observe here, friends, I want to add a new column, actually. Column means where do I add actually? Here, okay, because this mass is column, diameter is a column, okay? I need to add the column, that means uh, in each and every row, it has to reflect, okay? So just to observe here, DF2 off, just you need not go uh, do any research, whatever the column name you want to add, just uh, along with the data frame, you can specify that. Then automatically you see earlier that we are not having any new column. Now at the moment I am saying this uh, new column of the uh, data frame two of new column, obviously it's going to add uh, that particular column information. Okay, this is adding of the new column. But how do I add the new row friends? Can someone suggest? Suppose uh, I want to find out uh, mean of all these things, assume that. Then how do I add a row? Same like new. Mm, yeah, no, because uh, column is, uh, uh, you know, so, so directly it is going to add, uh, if I'm not saying anything as a column, it reads by default as a column, but to add the row friends here, a simple thing is there. Okay, so LOC actually, LOC means what? See, LOC uh, Python, uh, Python way of doing or uh, user way of doing. <laughs> ILOC user, means user uh, way Python way of. Uh, ILOC, internal. Internal yeah. means Python. This LOC, you. user way. User way, what we are doing is just I want to add the mean of the columns. Maybe for Earth, what is the mass? Okay, and uh, I want to get all the planets. Uh, mean of the masses of all the planets, diameter of all the planets, mean mean diameter of all the planets. So simply, just to remember friends, if I want to add the column, I need not specify any LOC. Directly DF2 of column name and whatever the value you want, you can provide that. 
Whereas if I want to add the row, just I need to provide df2 dot loc, then only uh, Python recognizes. So this guy is going to add the row. So obviously after performing this, uh, you can see uh, the column mean, which is automatically added. Okay, with the help of this uh, df2 dot loc. Okay, on the other way, if I want to drop the column directly, I can df2 dot drop off uh, column mean. Okay, to drop the row friends here, to drop the row directly, you can uh, drop this, but uh, just to re remember to drop the column, I have to specify access value. Okay, so actually I want to delete entire column. Okay, because uh, here I have deleted only a, a single row, uh, it is enough to give the df2 dot drop off column mean. But whereas to uh, drop the column information, I need to add one more uh, parameter, which is access equal to one. That means it is going to affect with every row. Okay, so uh, let us record that. Suppose in the addition, okay, no confusion friends, very simple. Okay, just uh, one of the important uh, point here. Uh, in case of the uh, data frame, to add a column, hmm. what is the process friends? DF of uh, column, new, new column. column, that's all. Whereas uh, this is the first option. Second option is to add a row. Hmm. What is the process? DF dot uh, LOC. LOC of new row. Okay, this is one set. Now, to drop a column, Hmm. Uh, drop df uh, df of drop uh, new column uh, access is equal to one. No, last one. Uh, drop, drop a row. Hmm. Dot drop df dot row. drop of new row. That's all. We, we have done uh, this similar thing in uh, the, the, the first one that we have done, uh, the simple linear regression where we have uh, oh. only one, one independent variable. Exactly. Uh, so we have to give this, otherwise it gives an error uh, of access. Correct, correct, correct. You're right. Okay. Because if you are not giving means it is reflecting that. It is opposing us. Hmm? Okay. Now, uh, okay. Uh, in data frames, most of the times we are asking uh, these questions only friends. Uh, and one more thing, uh, after uh, asking these series, data frames and all, now uh, the most important uh, library, you know, uh, the SKLN library. And your 60% uh, of the effort and 60% of the coding is revolving about uh, around the SKLM. If I'm asking you guys, uh, which are all the activities I can perform with the SKLM? At least four, if I'm asking you. Uh, like uh, saying we have uh, uh, hmm. processing, uh, uh, we, we have this coding, uh, missing value imputation, uh, uh, importing the, uh, the, the, hmm. uh, the algorithm or uh, yeah. import. First thing is now, the pre-processing. Second is the algorithm import ah, next one we also do the uh, uh, training and uh, test and uh, very good train test split uh, fit and, uh, matrix matrix very yeah. good just to follow the flow friends because you know uh, if you are following the flow it is easy for you and the interviewer also uh, think that okay yeah this guy is having some kind of the experience in a way. Okay, ah, now if, if again, he is coming back and asking you, which are all the pre-processing you have done? Can you explain? Then what is your uh, answer uh, for that? Missing value imputation. Missing value imputation. Encoding. Encoding. Uh, encoding. Okay, encoding, right. 
now if i am asking you guys uh, my uh, like standardization and normalization uh, can you agree whether that is the pre processing or what is your thought process on that normalization yeah. <laughs> normalization <laughs> and uh, standardization we, we not a pre processing actually th that is uh, see uh, i can fit somewhere Mm. after pre processing okay or else after train test split okay so even it all depends guys because i cannot directly apply the feature scaling uh, on top of the data set okay because it won't give any uh, betterment for us but rather it is all uh, specification you know uh, this particular feature scaling uh, Uh, before the splitting of the data generally we perform okay so i can say to a after importing the algorithm i can do that feature scaling ha ah. what do you mean by feature scaling friends how many techniques we have seen so far uh, normalization and uh, standardization okay. but generally mm. use uh, the standardization Two A feature scaling. Normalization. Standardization. Hmm. Suppose if I am asking you, if your data is in the ah uh, data is in the normal distribution. friends if i am asking you normal distribution then uh, mean variance should come into the picture and if i am talking about the standard deviation ah uh, what is the equation name mean plus or minus okay one standard deviation empirical formula mu plus r minus two standard deviation mean plus r minus three standard deviation okay which is the empirical formula so if you are talking about the normal distribution definitely there is a correlation of this uh, mean and as well as the standard deviation so just to re remember that and if uh, if you are not sure that maybe I, i don't know what exactly he is talking and what distribution we are talking then better you go with uh, standardization friends no doubt about that but specifically guys if in the sr in the system requirement specification or uh, uh, the pdf which you are getting from your uh, team uh, maybe if you are uh, having some kind of the convention like uh, uh, strictly it is uh, having some kind of uh, uh, normal form uh, so that we can uh, manage the things okay so this is how you can uh, specify the distinction between standardization and as well as the normalization okay this this is also one of the question they frequently ask now uh, if i am talking about the algorithms import um, this is a straight thing skln dot uh, linear model or skln dot uh, uh, neighbors like that i am having some kind of the thing and import uh, um some kind of the algorithms now uh, can you uh, talk about the train test split friends because this is also one of the important aspect a train test split we can do it by uh, either cake uh, validation or uh, directly or uh, from uh, the skl on uh, skl and uh, uh, dot model uh, selection uh, model se and uh, we have to uh, give the uh, four para uh, four outcomes na here uh, uh, standardly independent variable the labels x test y train y test y okay test. which is equal to uh, just i am giving my train Training. test uh, right. split uh, function features label ah right. uh, and then y Ah, uh, size. Uh, size. Size. Uh, some zero point two five and random uh, split. You can uh, random that uh, 
uh, number you can give or else you can uh, leave that also don't no problem about that okay so accordingly based on this particular kind of the convention one can easily observe how we are uh, performing the train test split now uh, as usual friends once we have done this thing uh, according to the algorithmic implementation and uh, we have to convert that algorithm into the model basically okay model and uh, if you talk about this particular model okay now suppose if i am taking any algo uh, like svc and uh, how do i generate this model friends by, by the way import uh, model uh, so uh, already we have imported the algorithm what we are doing is just we are creating the uh, support vector classifier equal to svc first we have to give the reference uh, next what is the next step sc dot fit of uh, what is the which are all the parameters we need to give x train and y train y train, y train very good once this is over next we are in a position to predict the things so st sc dot predict of uh, y test uh, x test x test okay now uh, what is the outcome here friends this is your actual model this is your y predict okay like this these statement must be common friends you need not be a great programmer or coder uh, to remember uh, these kind of the steps because uh, many at times you are seeing these kind of the narrations okay once this is done now if i am asking about the metrics this is also nth time we are discussing the regression root mean square error root absolute error and then we'll see if we are uh, we have seen some r2 score some some sort of uh, things which are strictly related to the regression so far we have seen uh, simple and uh, multiple regression now uh, these things are known as the linear models friends this is nothing but the linear model even uh, your logistic also linear model only but whereas if i am talking about the non linear models one more question non linear model okay your uh, polynomial regression okay there is a limitation friends here in case of the simple multiple and linear uh, logistic regression the curve is like this okay just like that a straight line kind of thing and we, we have to analyze but whereas in in reality suppose i am having uh, the curvic nature kind of things i cannot get a straight line maybe uh, uh, the experience and as well as the salary i may not always get this uh, straight line maybe some kind of the curvic nature so if you want to observe the behavior of uh, uh, these values okay exactly then you can go with the polynomial regression and however it is a curve nature not a straight line so these things belongs to the non linear linear models always give the uh, straight line orientation so as to compare the models or so as to compare the features along with the labels okay along with the label feature along with the label so maybe simple multiple or all these kind of thing belongs to the linear model but whereas sometimes you know if i want to emphasize my understanding uh, just by putting the concern of uh, uh, the proper understanding of the data proper learning of the uh, uh, equation or relationship between the feature and labels then i can go with the non linear model i will will discuss that point friend but uh, uh, as a kind of interview so just you can see the linear and as well as the non linear kind of the models now apart from these kind of things uh, the classification so a basic question what is the difference between classification and regression and what is the common point in classification and regression friends both are supervised learning very good common point is uh, uh both are supervised 
both are supervised uh, and uh, what is the difference classification de deals with the uh, data like uh, hmm. classifiers uh, <laughs> what is the outcome um, of the classification like sr no true or false uh, sr no true or false one or zero all these things comes under the category of the classification whereas if i am talking about the regression deals with the, the numbers, numbers friends actually regression give the number directly it is not going to talk about uh, yes or no kind of the aspects now if i am asking you in case of the classification uh if you refer the matrix or measures hmm which are the most commonly used confusion matrix okay classification report classification report yeah <laughs> auc roc curve and uh, now in svm friends actually i have used one more thing uh, let me pull that uh, aspect also uh, uh, as a part of this case study i have uh, we have I have seen some other aspect in naive bias accuracy uh, value actually um is she okay yeah this accuracy score also one of the matrix friend because it directly gives uh, um 90% accuracy because again we need to use the classification report now for that uh, how much prediction what is the support all these things right so for that particular thing just you can see mm. accuracy score so this is how you can uh, refer the uses of uh, uh, the most commonly used kind of the constructs a lot more uh, but uh, that's how you need to prepare guys okay still uh, let me revise uh, python basics we have seen statistics we have not touch based tomorrow i'll do one thing 10 to 20 minutes uh, will dedicate to uh, to this particular statistics which are all the Uh, statistical kind of the questions may be the um, uh, probability distributions and which are all the stats we need uh, friends can someone help me which are all the statistical measures we are using statistical measures we we have seen the especially in um, case of data science yeah I mean, yeah. The, basically, uh, that uh, probability distributions we have to study: Bernoulli, normal, Gaussian, normal, all these things. Normal. That that uh, definitely gives the clear understanding, like understanding of the Chebyshev's or uh, empirical formula. That is mandatory. Any other, any other, uh, which is uh, having high importance in case of uh, analyzing that is that stat models we have seen, na, uh, which is t test and as well as the uh, chi square yeah. test, chet score. because these, these are all the measures uh, where you can uh, bank on so these measures definitely helps us to uh, think through how our uh, hypothesis is uh, performing and all those kind of thing that is uh, that is also one of the important thing especially in the decision trees also we are making use of this chi square and all these uh, uh, kind of aspects so and uh, uh, entropy or information gain all those things okay so those points uh, i'll touch base and then we can uh, have a look of uh, understanding of these things okay so however uh, we have seen the basic uh, requirements of uh, what exactly our python and uh, algorithmic orientation of the machine learning and then data pre processing aspects okay like uh, missing value imputing and as well as uh, uh, other kind of the aspect you know so like uh, the encoding technique feature scaling and all algorithm wise uh, is a straight question maybe they can ask you uh, in this format okay so they which are all the algorithms you have used whether your focus is on regression or classification okay all these kind of the conventions okay 
one minute guys some something happened is uh, most uh, unstable no, yeah uh, are you able to hear yeah yeah yes. so now if you are referencing uh, the stat model that that is how we are seeing algorithm wise they will come up with a specific uh, algorithm friends maybe regression if you are saying they may ask you uh, uh, re related to uh, linear uh, multiple and which are all the measures there is a specific aspect classification means again they are having the chance of asking you starting from the random forest uh, decision tree and they can come back to naive by naive base and as well as the support vector machine and then we'll we'll have the kn uh, like that we're having that flow okay so just to like that, uh, hmm. it's more uh, like once we know the algorithm right if it's we just have to import the algorithm uh, main That's thing all. is the testing hmm. and uh, and uh, getting that standardization like the feature exactly. scaling the measures exactly. so we have to we have to have that uh, kind of uh, ability to ah. get to the uh, accurate, uh, accurate that's all uh, that's all uh, it is all inference and algorithm import and uh, fitting a model and prediction is uh, uh, anyone can do uh, who is uh, uh, naive <laughs> who is not having any knowledge but only the your potentiality lies in uh, how we are correlating the things to the corresponding case study and uh, in what way you are uh, 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 coming up with the inference that is the most important uh, i will ask I was talking to Suresh some time back. Like oh, uh, oh, oh. one model, the simple uh, uh, linear regression. I was asking, see, Suresh, uh, nothing is there, you know. Like you <laughs> have to just do it like a process, like a uh, project, like whatever we. <laughs> yeah, yeah said, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is what uh, every every case study we are doing is a project only, Venkat. Because uh, yeah. in the first case study, we have seen some kind of the example, and we have taken. Uh, the missing value and as well as the scaling factor and then for KNN uh, we have taken some example of uh, distance measures and all and uh, thereafter for the simple and uh, uh, multiple regression some kind of the case study and we have come up with uh, some kind of the prediction so every time a case study itself is a project we need not go and have uh, a project means what actually in case of the data science we start with the pre-processing Reprocessing in the sense uh, loading of the data and then verification of all these uh, uh, whether any missing values are there or any other such kind of things are there. And once we are clear with these things, any scaling is required. Then uh, uh, select the algorithm and then uh, fine tune that particular algorithm with a uh, fitting and as well as the prediction. And then um, thereafter, we have to see the uh, predictions. What is the accuracy and all those things based on the uh, type of the algorithm, maybe the regression or uh, um classification okay so th this is how you need to observe a uh, project is not uh, exactly again I, I need to start from uh, scratch no 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 not like that friends this is not a java or dotnet kind of the thing the project in the sense uh, by the way we are doing the projects however uh, related to the algorithms okay because everything we are embedding now starting from the importing loading the process and whenever there is a requirement we are doing the missing value imputation encoding technique feature scaling algorithm import uh, fitting of the algorithm, um, predicting the corresponding uh, y values, measures and metrics, and if needed, uh, visualization. That's it. <laughs> okay. So, any other, any other like point? But thing like it has to click your brain. <laughs> ah, got... yeah, yeah. Because see, uh, whatever I am saying, it should uh, ignite your mind, and you should ask the next coming thing because uh, while dealing with uh, all these things uh, especially in the stat models and especially in the uh, discussion of the background of the algorithms you you use it to do that lakshmi you and uh, suresh uh, yogesh and venkat you guys are asking me the next coming step immediately that is uh, that means okay these guys are following i need to uh, yeah i am doing well like that i can have th that confidence actually okay so long way uh, we are uh, uh, we had a discussion <laughs> okay it's Thanks. like uh, mm, that is what so if some any other however friends uh, one thing any chance of uh, adding value to the session definitely i don't uh, uh, miss that uh, chance okay definitely i i am going to add some points and uh, what exactly currently industry is looking for and of course uh, you might have seen the news also uh, Mindtree and uh, uh, Microsoft and TCS, Infosys, they are hiring like anything. Actually, good uh, time frames for you. 
okay immediately of course uh, you can start applying uh, maybe you will be getting calls uh, just you can start applying and i will be sharing some of the resumes uh, i'm having so that you can uh, modify a little bit and you can uh, make use of those kind of the thing definitely you can uh, crack the interviews within two or three um uh, terms or something like that okay like so, what you said like uh, uh, mm -hmm. my my wife works in tcs and uh, she has a bad requirement of data ah, and, uh, oh. and they were talking about this uh, uh, nlp uh, i think more on this picture kind of thing for a retail client where they they by seeing that uh, like uh, any any picture it has to be like uh, kind of correlated to the oh. uh, the design kind of thing correct, something like correct. that image captioning some... video captioning image, image, nowadays image. Uh, that is also there okay yeah yeah correct hmm. we can do friends no problem though those kind of additional requirements uh, uh thing but they don't directly you need not be a researcher or uh, uh, you need not be a rocket scientist okay because they give enough uh, time and uh, you can sit with uh, the members and they can share the KT and all. Of course, with this knowledge, first you enter into that and then you can play your. Uh, uh, more first. what I find is the spark that you are telling, you know, from mm -hmm. uh, like uh, like uh, whatever the sessions, like uh, uh, I've been to, we have, we have done 40 sessions, like uh, uh. whatever you, you are telling, the important things, like saying that, okay, you should have that, you should <laughs> be able to that, uh, or yeah, your yeah. interest should be. Because you, you, from only first week, we are a bit. Uh, Slow banquet and uh, second week onwards, uh, your movie collections are uh, reaching to sky only. <laughs> I have to prepare uh, uh, one one great thing uh, with you. You know why we we, we able to like either see like me, Yogesh would not join Suresh. Uh, Every time you know it is like you are not either too lenient where you say okay if you are. I, I'm just going to tell my sessions and go, but you're no, no, catching no, no, out. No, no. And mm -hmm. the way you're uh, like, uh, and it's sick. Some people, you know, they're sick months. They, they do not tell further. They'll say, okay, I'm stopping or I'll not do. You're yeah. like kind of holding us tight. So we, mm -hmm. we are also yeah. definitely like, Venkat, because that is, uh, uh, because, uh, uh, because it's not like training. No? It is learning actually. So learning and training are different. Training, as you mentioned, I can come and teach. Uh, exactly nine is there. I can put the alarm. Okay, okay. I will stop the session. Never. We have never done that. Uh, starting from the first session, if the uh, topic demands, we are extending like. It's not like, okay, nine is uh, already we have uh, overboarded not like that and at the same time luckily i got the uh, intelligent chaps at least hard working no. guys hard working guys that, uh, <laughs> score and uh, precision you know uh, yeah. uh, we had we had a break suresh had prepared one uh, ppt and the yeah. next day we did not add class uh, mm. due to some days, like uh... <laughs> called me on the day and he said swami i have done this so we have just uh, we have mm. just gone through that and uh, is this okay or do i need to make any changes i then oh, uh, i thought next the... day will be uh, <laughs> then uh, the next day i told him lo these are the these are the things might be you can put it in ah. a nicer like the presentation yes, and uh, sure. then could not do it and uh, when you when you talked about f, f score like you ah. mentioned that correct, we have correct. then ah. i was searching in internet and suddenly i i went into the presentation i thought he, he has they talked about that then i i looked into it and i got all those values like f score yes, yes. precision and uh, we call uh, it out exactly in the confusion matrix and in the classification report you can uh, straight away see that is, that is what friend the connect connecting the dots is always important however we are doing that but my strong suggestion would be okay uh, but again i am giving the inputs to you and all but uh, better you put uh, the resume in now cray definitely you are going to get a, <laughs> a flood of calls like anything uh, infosys and um, uh, this thing uh, uh, tcs is hiring and um, some other thing emphasis Okay, okay, mind tree, mind tree, uh, heavy requirement is there. Okay, so uh, that is what friends. Okay, definitely good companies only, not the startups also good, but uh, uh, initially you can join in the uh, MNC and then you can move uh, after uh, uh, getting some kind of the insights, then you can have your own cup of tea, right? You can write your ticket. All the best guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you very, thank much. very much. Yeah, yeah, bye-bye.